Welcome to the stove yard. We're back again today. It's Pancake Tuesday, the 1st of March, 2022. So what else can we do is making pancakes. Today we're making a Dutch baby, which is actually like a German style pancake, I think originally, but we're gonna claim it. So we're gonna do this all on the big green egg. We've got all our ingredients sitting out and we're just- So gonna... yes, oh no. <laughs> Right, we're gonna start this Dutch baby. We've got three large eggs. We're gonna whisk it up with a little bit of sugar. And then we add 100 grams of flour, 150 mils of organic whole fat milk, a little bit of ground cinnamon, um, a little bit of vanilla paste, and just whisk that all up. Let it sit for about 20 minutes just to get all the flour incorporated. Um, In. We're just going to whisk it now till it's a, a battery consistency and no lumps, of course. Get in there, son. get in there. So that's the consistency we'd like our breader to be. Now we're going to let it rest for about 20 minutes so the flour can soak up all the moisture um, and then it's ready to be cooked. That's uh, the egg ready at about 200 degrees. We're going to pre warm the skillet. Give it five minutes. Stick a bit of butter in, and then we can pour the batter into that and put it back on the egg. Of course, I forgot to put a little bit of salt in, so we're just gonna do that now. Pinch of salt, give it another whisk. Voila. That's the skillet heated up for about five, 10 minutes. So we're gonna take it out, add some butter, let it melt, and then we just pour in the batter mix. We're now gonna uh, whisk a little bit of whipped cream um, with some Cointreau and sugar. So the Cointreau is gonna give it a nice citrusy flavor and it gives us a chance to have a wee sip. Oh, that's horrible actually. <laughs> Like Cream is starting to set, then we're gonna add some sugar and some contro. Do this whenever your cream is already kind of whisked, so um, it's easier to get it into shape. Fifteen, twenty minutes in, so we're just gonna have a quick peek to see what it looks like. Oh, there we go, that's going well. Give it another five minutes. That's it, 25 minutes. Let's have a look what our Dutch baby is looking like. Oh, sweet. So you got nice brown bits at the end. It's nice moist in the middle. Oh, I think we're good to go, we're gonna take it off. So we're now ready to serve our Dutch baby. You can either leave it in the, in the skillet or you can take it out. We're gonna leave it in today. Um, we are going to, you know, again, you can add whatever you like. Today we've chosen for a couple of fresh raspberries. I have a little bit of homemade jam. Put a few dollops on. A little bit of fresh lemon juice, just for a nice bit of acidity. Then we have our whipped cream. Some icing sugar. A couple of twigs of mint, just for a bit of color and actual flavor as well, of course. A couple of more raspberries on there. 
There we go. Happy Pancake Tuesday or happy Dutch Baby Tuesday, everybody. And that's how you make a Dutch baby on the Brick Green Egg. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.